Got some pretty nice elk in here. Hey guys, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. I'm Lady Legend, and in today's video, we're gonna count down the top 10 best tips for finding diamonds for new players and for seasoned players alike. These tips will be good for everyone, but especially for newer players. If you do enjoy the video, guys, make sure to hit that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell and we're gonna head right into it. Now, let me know in the comments, guys, if you do have any questions or any suggestions for my top 10 list, I would love to hear from you. Okay, guys, let's head right into it. So coming in at number 10 on our top 10 list of best tips for finding diamonds, is to know your max levels for every single species. Now you don't have to memorize this guys, you will learn over time as you do play in the game, but knowing your max levels will definitely help you out. Now animals do not need to be max level to score diamond necessarily. So basically how it works is predators go to level nine, but there is always exceptions. Red deer go to level nine as well and they are not a predator. Most deer go to level five, but there are exceptions as well. And there are three types of deer that go to level three. Those would be roe deer, whitetail, and musk deer. But all the rest of the deer go to level five. Now, most everything that goes to level five can score diamond at level four and level five. But anything that goes to level nine has to be a nine to score diamond for the most part. I believe water buffalo can go diamond at mythical level eight. And I have heard of gray wolves once in a while going diamond, although I have never ever shot one myself. But otherwise, they do have to be nine legendary to score diamond. And just because you do find a nine does not guarantee you a diamond. These animals can still troll you at max levels. And if you're not sure what a troll is, guys, a troll is a max level animal that does not score diamond. It has a trophy rating that is just a little bit too small and doesn't quite make it to that required diamond trophy rating. So for example, a troll would be a level five Rocky Mountain Elk that scores 478 and 480 is diamond. That's a troll. So basically it's a max level gold and an animal does have to be max level in order for it to be a troll. And so I just like to make new players aware that you know, diamonds do exist in the game and it is totally okay to start trophy hunting right from when you start this game from level one. And I wish this is something that I had done, but I really didn't know any better. So you know what? It's something to be aware of and it is something that you can really enjoy as you are leveling up in the game. Now I do have some pretty awesome reference materials in my discord. I will leave the link below the video guys. And if you have a look here, I have all of these for every map for every reserve posted to my Discord. And these have absolutely everything you need to know. The diamond trophy rating, all the zone times, your rares, everything is in this chart and they are completely up to date. Layton is up to date with the new times and we do have one for Rancho now. So you'll find that under all reserve info. I actually reference these all the time. Coming in at number nine on our list of top 10 tips for finding diamonds is to choose the very best skill and perks as you're leveling up so that you have what you need for finding diamonds. And I am gonna go through some of those with you right now, guys. So if you actually go in here, now some of these you are gonna have to choose just to get to the next tier, but what you select as you're leveling up, the order in which you select them is very important. Now. You want to get to soft feet and get two points in soft feet as fast as you possibly can. Now level one reduces the noise generated when moving through foliage such as grass and leaves and level two reduces the noise generated when moving through larger vegetation such as bushes and shrubs. And that's under stalker skills. Now improvised blind is another really important one and I do highly recommend getting this one as fast as you can and this one says that it further decreases your visibility when inside large bushes and shrubs. And that is very important if you are definitely gonna be doing any bow hunting or getting close to any of the animals. You definitely wanna reduce your visibility. Now, if we move down here to ambusher skills, 
Three points into spotting knowledge is super important. You wanna get that as fast as you possibly can. Sight spotting is another one that you want. Unlocks the ability to spot animals while in aim mode with weapons. And actually the last diamond red fox that I harvested, I spotted him while my rifle was recoiling after shooting a moose. I literally spotted a level nine red fox in the background as my rifle flew up in the air with the recoil. Now, if I didn't have sight spotting, I never would have spotted him. It wouldn't have been possible. I may never have even seen him. I would have had to spot over there with my binoculars in the background. And the other one that I do recommend, although it isn't necessary for finding diamonds, but it is awesome to have in the game is the pack mule skill. And this, I wish I'd had this right from the beginning, but this allows you an extra 15% of carrying capacity, which equates to three kilograms. And it just makes such a difference for carrying everything around. You could just carry so much more with this one skill. Now let's go into perks. Now under perks, breath control. You want three points in breath control so that you can properly hold your breath when you're firing. This one here, you want steady hands, which decreases the wobble when in aim mode using any weapon. Zeroing, I do love zeroing. This helps you to take a more precise shot by zeroing your weapon so that it is a lot easier to take long range shots. And this is an active perk. So if you do have this perk, make sure that you activate it in order to use it. Now, if we go down into archery, move and shoot decreases the wobble while moving in aim mode using any weapon and under shotguns. Recoil management is another one, not necessarily for finding diamonds. For just gameplay, you want to have recoil management so that you can line up a second shot so much faster and take down more animals. So those ones you want to get to ASAP. Coming in at number eight on our list of top 10 tips for finding diamonds for new players. And that would be to know how to select the right type of ammo or the right weapon for the job. We do have to pass the harvest check in order to get integrity, to get a diamond, to score a diamond. Even if you find one, you do have to shoot it correctly. And the way to do that is very, very easy. You can do it right in the game. You don't even have to reference Discord to figure this out. Okay guys, so when you spot an animal, so I'm spotting a black tail here. If you look up in the top right hand corner, it tells you that the black tail is a class four species. Okay, so you can tell what class each animal is just from spotting them. And then if you actually go into your inventory, I actually carry all of my ammo with me all the time so I don't forget anything. They weigh so little that it doesn't even matter. And you can just click on any ammo and it will tell you the recommended class. But it is good for class two to six. So I am fine to use the 243 on Blacktail. Now, another thing you can do guys is go into Codex, go into Wildlife, and you can select any of the species in the game. So I'm gonna click on Blacktail Deer and it does tell you right in here which class you need for ammo for Blacktail Deer for any species that you would like to reference. So you can just go into the Codex and you can check and that way you will select the right ammo, the right weapon, for whatever diamond it is that you wish to shoot because you definitely don't want to shoot it with the wrong class weapon or ammo. What will happen is your diamond will score gold even if you get a perfect shot. So you do have to shoot everything with the correct class of ammo. And that is how you can cross-reference it very easily in the game. Coming in at number seven on our list of top 10 tips for finding diamonds as a new player, is to know how and practice taking vital shots. So when you do take a shot, we do have to hit a vital organ in order to get full score on that animal. So you wanna hit either a lung, the heart, you can hit the neck, and you can hit liver, and that's it. So we're gonna take a shot on this black tail and then we're gonna have a good look at his organs. And he is down. And you will notice as you get into the game and you start hunting more and more species that every different species has different sized organs. So here we go, that is a beautiful double lung shot. 
but when you get into the harvest screen, you can see where all of the organs are for every species. So have a good look at them and get to know where the heart is, how big the lungs are, where everything is so that you can take a perfect vital shot so you do get full score when you do find that diamond. Okay guys, so I just pulled up another trophy capture here because I actually wanted to show you when you hover over harvest check it shows you the four checks that you do have to successfully pass in order to get full score on anything so the first one is proper ammo for this animal which we've been through you can only shoot any animal twice maximum so two shots that's all you get the third check is intact trophy organs so what that means is when you have an animal that its trophy organ is antlers any of the deer species you cannot shoot that animal in the head because that damages the trophy organs so that will downgrade you a metal rating so you don't want to do that and you do have to hit one vital organ or more so if you look here we have lungs we have liver back here you can hit the neck and the heart is right there now moose have gigantic hearts so definitely become familiar with each of the species and learn where the best place is and practice 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 taking those vital shots coming in at number six on our list of top 10 tips for finding diamonds for new players is to never ever wear a backpack you can actually see here when you go into the storage locker i am wearing no backpack when you purchase, I have not purchased a backpack, so there is nothing for me to select. When you go into the store, you can actually scroll all the way down to backpacks, and they do have a variety of backpacks, very expensive backpacks, might I add, and they don't appear to increase your visibility or noise a whole lot, 5 and 7%. Doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it is. What happens when you purchase a backpack and you wear it, you do get to carry a whole bunch more inventory with you, which obviously is the reason you're doing it. But what actually will happen is you will end up spooking animals from all around you before you even see them. And the max level animals have the highest artificial intelligence, so it's those diamonds that are going to spook first. So I really, really don't recommend buying any of these you don't need a fanny pack you don't need a backpack if you do want to carry extra inventory around what i would do if you go in here to skills under ambusher there is the pack mule skill and this is the way to carry more inventory this increases your inventory by three percent permanently so you can always carry an extra three kilograms worth of space and you're not making any extra noise at all this is how you want to carry extra inventory around so there you have it i actually used to carry a backpack as a new player and when i did decide to ditch it that's when i started to find diamonds that's when things started to happen for me and once i started finding diamonds guys they started to come more and more regularly and you know i really think the same thing can happen for you it definitely can Coming in at number five on our list of top 10 tips for finding diamonds as a new player is to hunt around water. Now every animal in the game needs to feed, needs to rest, and needs to drink, but when they do drink, that is our best way to find them. When species come out and they do drink around water, they're just so much easier to find. Even when they're feeding, these elk are feeding here, but they're still really close to the water. Now we're gonna head over here. It is pronghorn time. Good chance we're gonna find a whole lot of pronghorn around this lake. But it's a really great piece of advice. Hunt by water. Animals just congregate around water sources and it's just the very best way to find diamonds. It really is. It's not that you can't find diamonds when they're feeding. You absolutely can, but as a new player, the easiest way to do it is to hunt around water. And there we have pronghorn drinking right there. So yeah, hunting around water sources is one of the most important things that you can do to find more diamonds. And that does lead us into number four on our top 10 list is to learn your hotspots. 
Now, hotspot is a relative term in my mind, is to learn your hotspots. Now, hotspot is a relative term in my mind. If I see anyone shoot a diamond anywhere, I make a mental note of that spot, and that is a spot that I will check on my map and on different multiplayer servers. And that is a technique that has worked for me quite well over the years. But you will find many, many videos helping you with where the best spots are to hunt. And I actually have a full series super guide series on every map in the game and i will put the link on the screen here that is for the entire series guys and i even have rancho done now right now i am working on a new latent super guide new and updated with all the new zones and all of the new zone times that is going to be coming out very soon but basically you want to know where the hot spots are to check on different servers if you are gonna go the multiplayer route. And it is a great way to find diamonds, but I do have many guides with hotspot maps to help you find the diamond of whatever species it is that you are looking for. So if I were to take mountain lions, for example, guys, mountain lions, you will find this is a really great spot for them. This is my very favorite spot, but you will find them drinking. This is a great spot here, down in Sun Sisters, Tabagooch, you start to learn where all the best spots are to find mountain lions. And these two lakes are really good. You'll find them at these lakes as well. But I have shot many diamonds off of Tufan, Tabagooch, this lake right here. And I have shot diamond mountain lions off of most of these other lakes. They are very common diamonds. But yeah, knowing the hot spots, definitely a great way to find more diamonds. Coming in at number three on our list of top 10 ways to find more diamonds as a new player is to hunt on your own maps and on multiplayer. Now, I know a lot of people have never even tried multiplayer and the only thing you need to play on a multiplayer server is internet. You do not need to own the map to hunt on it in multiplayer, which is a really great feature. That way you guys can actually try maps out before you purchase them. As long as somebody on the map owns the map, you are fine to hunt on it. And if that person does leave, the game will actually give you, I believe it's a 10 minute countdown. I can't remember, 10 or 15 minutes. All right, so to go on a multiplayer server, I'm just gonna go out to the main menu. Just go to multiplayer. Now I am on PC. I used to be on Xbox. Now on Xbox, guys, you cannot select your server. You just pick the reserve and it picks a random server for you. All the other platforms, you can select your server and it will give you some information. So if we wanted to say, go to Yukon and you can actually scroll through, this is worldwide and see all the different servers that are open. So let's just grab a server. Okay guys, so we just joined a multiplayer server. Now the one thing that can happen to you in a multiplayer server is you can get kicked. The host does have the option to kick you off of the map. It is his map at any time. Now, most of the time they do kick you immediately. I don't even mind getting kicked. Just don't kick me once I'm into the hunt. Kick me right away, please. <laughs> but the nice thing about this is you have a map that you have never been on. You have no idea what diamonds and trophies are on this map. And it's just a great way to search and find more diamonds. And this is where the hotspots come in. Knowing your hotspots, jumping on a multiplayer, and quickly running and checking your hotspots. This is a great way to find diamonds. And I really should use it more. Coming in at number two on our top 10 list of tips for finding diamonds for new players is to spot absolutely everything. Now this is a very, very awesome tip because let me tell you, if you don't spot everything, that one thing that you don't spot is likely to be that diamond potential animal. You wanna spot absolutely everything in the area before you take a shot and potentially spook off a diamond that you might not even know is there. This is so, so important. So if I do see something I wanna shoot here, before I do, I should really spot absolutely everything, not just in front of me, but in the area. You really want to be aware of your surroundings 
and this is a really awesome habit to get into and it definitely will put more diamonds in your lodge. Now sight spotting definitely helps with this. Sometimes things are so far away that you can't even pick them up with your binoculars. So sight spotting guys unlocks the ability to spot animals while in aim mode so if you actually have the Argus on you can spot from further away than your binoculars and that is a great way to spot really far into the distance further than your binoculars can reach. A decent one in there but no level fives here that I can see. But definitely you want to spot every single one of them. Coming in at number one on our list of top 10 ways to find more diamonds as a new player is to cover a lot of ground. Now this is the style of hunting that I do. I do really love trophy hunting in the game. So what I mean by covering a lot of ground is when I go out to hunt, I jump onto my map and I want to cover and check the most amount of spots in the least amount of time as possible. So right now it is 10 a.m. and I am hunting fallow. And I know that fallow drink from 8 or 8.30 until 11 or 11.30 here in New Zealand. So basically I want to change the time to fallow drink time and then I want to hit my favorite spots for fallow in the least amount of time as possible. So I do a lot of running. It is totally okay to run in the game. If you do spook something, it will more than likely come back. If it doesn't immediately, it will come back to its zone on a fresh game startup. But I do a lot of running, a lot of spotting, and I like to check a lot of spots very, very quickly. If I don't see anything crazy, any big trophies, then I move on. The idea is that there has got to be a diamond or rare fallow here somewhere and I need to find it. So these are great fallow spots. I've determined that there is nothing amazing here. I'm going to head here and run up to here now. Okay, so there's a pretty nice fallow. I do like to hunt around water. I do like to hunt the drink times. I just find them so much easier to find. And we do have a pretty nice fallow here. And again, lots of other tips come into play here, knowing your hot spots, knowing which spots are most likely to have diamonds. And again, if I've ever seen a diamond shot in a particular spot, I always remember to check that spot. I do find that diamonds like to spawn in the same spots on different maps. I have seen it time after time. But there you have it guys, those are my best top 10 tips for finding diamonds for new players. And I really hope you did enjoy the video. We got a nice fallow here. Turn for me, baby. Ooh, I don't know what happened with that first shot, but we got him. If you did enjoy the video, guys, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, smash that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell and we will see you guys in the next one. 195 one gold and guys to check your diamond trophy rating scroll on top of the trophy rating here and it will show you and diamond trophy for fallow is 251.7 so there you go not big enough take care guys <laughs>